All right, boom. You already know. When porch pirates get caught in the act. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Porch pirates is a crazy, crazy name for this type of the behavior. Porch pirates are the lowest kind of criminals out there, resorting to stealing packages right off other people's doorsteps. But what happens when these criminals are caught in broad daylight and arrested? I feel like he really didn't want to call them porch pirates, though. ...by police officers. I'm going to tase you right here, right now. We found the most shocking examples of this, starting with one of the most satisfying criminal takedowns of all time. In May 2023, the fight against porch pirates was well underway, and delivery drivers had been made aware just how prevalent these criminals were across all of America. That's why this heroic driver took it upon himself to defend the property of this homeowner, and luckily for us, it was all caught on camera. Bro, what? So he, someone tried to steal the package right after it was delivered. And then the Amazon driver, he goes and gets it back. I ain't got shit, bro. Why not fall to me? You took that man's shit, bro. No, no. After catching the porch pirates taking the man's package, this driver chased him into a local resident's backyard, leapt over the fence, and with adrenaline running high, confronted him about the theft. It turns out this isn't the So he caught the accomplice, not the person who actually took it, but he is correct. That is his job. And y'all need to stop stealing shit, bro. Stop stealing, bro. Like come on, bro. Stop. Guy with the package, hence the driver's demands to know where his partner is. But being trapped on camera with a good Samaritan wasn't where this thieves nightmare ended. As just seconds later, the property owner turned up and demanded he explain himself. You owe that man. Oh God. I don't give a fuck. Get your ass over here, bro. Don't make me pull your ass over, bro. Come on. I don't give a fuck, bro. I see you and the other dude. He gonna call the police, bro. God. I don't give a fuck. You was with her, bro. Yo, this is a trailer part too, isn't it? Just stealing people's Amazon packages in the trailer part. Isn't there anything better you could do with that time, gang? There's something better you could have chose to do. Like, people order stuff because they need it. That might be something important. It might be something to brighten up buddy's day. And you over here just, it's mine. I'm gone. Like, y'all got to stop with that. The driver threatens to call the police, which seems like more than the thief is willing to risk, and he gives up his accomplice's address. Not only is this driver trying to defend the homeowner, but he's also defending his own job, as he's got no idea if he'll be charged by his work for failing to deliver the package successfully. Evidently, though, this was a pretty amateur job as far as porch pirates go, so let's instead take a look at a more serious scam ran by... Uh, and there's motherfuckers doing package scams? How, what is a package scam? These stories are actually crazy. There's no way that you really need these people's items that badly or you think you're going to get like a, a product that is just so highly expensive to like sell or something. And possibly the most immature criminal you've ever seen. What's going on? He's under arrest and you're under arrest. Mommy! In November 2023, multiple calls were made to Ohio claiming that their packages had been stolen right off their doorstep. Security footage revealed the same thing. A male figure wearing a ski mask, running up to the porch, stealing a package, and then fleeing in a Chrysler minivan. Local cops managed to link the same van to seven thefts in the area before tracking down the minivan owned by 23-year-old Taylor. So they pulled over the vehicle and just... Taylor, come on, gang. You still in packages in your motherfucking minivan, Taylor? Last video I reacted to where they were still in packages, it was a, a hood thing. That's what they said in the comments. A my people problem. That's what they said in the comments. This video is illuminating that a lot of you guys like to steal Amazon packages. I don't know. Interesting. Decided to ask her a few questions. Because I don't know why. why are we being asked if we have guns? Well, the, stop right there. First off, you're, you're driving without any taillights. Second I'm, off, we keep getting reports of people stealing packages off the porches. Where all these boxes come from? 
we were building gingerbread houses. I got them out the recycling. I just stopped right there and got some. Sensational. We were building gingerbread houses. I just got them at the recycling center. See, we just stopped right there and got some. See, like right there, right there. Like that's too easy. Like right there. Like okay, good. Oh. We see you. From where? Right there, where I, I, I just passed the police at. It's hard to tell if this was a story she'd thought out before or one she made up on the spot. But either way, it needs some work, as it's certainly not explaining away the mountain of Amazon packages she's got sitting in the back seat. But surprisingly, this it's what's sitting in the word. front seat that the cops are the most concerned with. He's underage. He's only 15. Okay. So when we go watch these videos from all the ring cameras of people stealing off the porches, is it going to be him? Because he's wearing a mask, just like the person in the video. No, that's because he keeps his hair down. So he's wearing a ski mask because he keeps his hair down? And it's cold outside. Yes, it's cold. He he's in a one, car. Why would he's he be the in? one who does my delivery Do you have a driver's license on you? No, sir. My mom does. Can I please just have her? Mommy, please come here. <laughs> so the dude at the ski mask one is a 15-year-old. You got a 15 year old still in packages off the people's porches in a minivan. This is some Scooby Doo criminal type shit. I'm sending you my location. Are all these boxes empty? Some of them are. Which ones aren't? I don't know. There was some in the trunk. Can we look at them? Yes. According to Taylor, the boy sitting in the front seat does her deliveries for her. But the story is far from adding up. As the second the cops begin to question her, she starts screaming for her mom and seems on the brink of tears. No, mommy. Can you open the doors for What's me? What's her name? I'm scared, Taylor. Can I please step out? Calm Just sit down. I'm... Just calm down. Taylor. Mommy, please come here. Last name. Last name. Nicole. Nicole? Yes. Sit down. Hold on, I need to breathe. I'm sorry. Sit down. I have bad anxiety. Mommy, can you tell them? Sit down. I'm trying to. You're not. I'm sitting you down. You need to start me. listening. Okay? I'm trying to. Sir. So you get caught stealing. <laughs> now you're trying to listen and you're trying to get these sympathy points with the police, with the cops, and then. Look, you've got caught. You got caught, Taylor. Nicole. You got caught. Just accept it. I'm sorry. Ac accountability. Oh, my anxiety is really bad. I'm about to faint. If Taylor was innocent, there's really nothing that should be causing such bad anxiety in someone. Police interactions can be incredibly stressful for anyone, even if they're completely innocent. But Taylor is panicking to the point where she claims she's about to pass out. And the cops have said nothing that should cause an innocent person to feel quite this scared. And unfortunately for her, there's nothing her mom can do to save her from what's coming next. Go ahead and step out, Megan. Put your phone right there for me. Mommy, Put your what's, right what's there. going on? You're being detained as well. Mommy! Okay. No, Mommy, go to my house. Come get my phone. Put your hands together. My Just boyfriend, your... my dog. Put the back of your, Put the back of your hands together. Can you right? pass in my mom my location, please? She doesn't need any location. Yes, she does. How old are you? I'm 23. All right, well, then she doesn't need to know. Mommy, please come give me a... Sit down right here for me, okay? Please. <laughs> Bro, what? So she hits full panic mode and starts calling for her mother. Calling for her mother. Look, you're cooked. You're done. You're cooked. It's over with. You stole the packages. Just accept your fate. Just accept your fate. All right. So I guess just explain to you, okay? You don't have to answer questions if you don't want to. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop at any time. If you want to talk to a lawyer before asking, answering any questions, you can also do that. Taylor is put in the back of a patrol car and read her rights. It's obvious Taylor is guilty from the two dozen packages in her backseat, but the cop still needs to know how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Well, I mean, how many houses did you guys hit? I don't. Because you were literally throwing packages from houses that you stole from into other houses' front yards. No, I was not. But you're driving. What? So what? I mean, I apologize, sir. I don't want to be in any more trouble. I'll do whatever. I'm, I'm just, I mean, have you been driving all over town? Did you guys just start? No, I just, I thing? just started. I promise. So how do you know him? I don't know him for real. I was just. How old is he? He's only 15. I have work and I have dogs and a kid at home. So why I are you out doing this? Because I was trying to make my rent money and I didn't. I was scared because the, the lady just texted me and told me she needed some money. Who? The rent lady. You could go 
took my phone. She just said she needed money. Many people don't have the money they need to survive, but they don't all immediately resort to stealing from innocent people. There's clearly more to the situation than she's letting on. The, she's stealing packages with the 15 year old. Like that? That in itself, to me, seems extremely crazy. You're stealing packages with a 15 year old, almost a 14 year old, with a 15 year old. You said you're doing it because you need rent. Okay, everybody needs to pay their rent. But it's like gangy gang. What? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, so how do you know this kid? Like, how because, did he get roped into helping you steal packages? Because I was helping. His mom asked me to help her while she got on her feet, and so she he was staying with me. But she didn't help me with nothing, and I'm trying. She don't. She gets food stamps from and everything, and I've had them for like six months, and she don't help me, and I don't know what to do anymore. So how many houses have you guys hit tonight? Not a lot, sir. I promise not a lot. So not only was she using a kid to help her steal from innocent people, it was a kid whose mother had trusted her with to keep safe and raise herself. Taylor spent the next 15 minutes in the back of the patrol car asking for good treatment and begging not to go to jail. But given the nature of this operation and her usage of a minor to do her dirty work, the cops will likely be treating her as exactly what she... Go oh, hold though, that red jacket is kind of fire. You know, the little fluffy jacket and shit. That shit kind of cool. He is a thief. Taylor later appeared in court and admitted her crimes. She's facing multiple charges of theft and contributing to the delinquency of a child. Taylor faces up to $20,000 in fines and six months to 16 years in prison. She While Taylor was grief. guilty, at least she tried to explain her actions without escalating the situation. But this next woman decided she'd try and make things as awkward as possible, despite being completely innocent. I'm gonna taser you. Okay, so she was actually innocent, and she maxed out. All right, this is my opinion on this. If you're actually innocent, yes, dealing with the cops, getting pulled over, all that shit, it's annoying as fuck. But if you're innocent, just keep that shit chill. Let things go how they go. That's it, you know? I'm gonna tase you right here, right now. An employee at a grocery store had called police saying they believed a woman had stolen a large amount of groceries. When the officer arrived, things got out of hand quickly, but for the last reason he expected. Do you wanna sit in my car? No, I don't wanna sit in your car, and that, I'm not sitting in your that, No, it's called your sergeant. No, it ain't. You ain't from. seen me steal nothing. Then show me your receipt. I, I will not. Right. I don't steal. I don't steal. I do not steal. All they wanna do is have you here. I don't steal. Then show me your receipt. I won't do that. Then show me your receipt. See, like, this is the thing. If she was completely innocent, like they said at the beginning of this, she should have just showed the receipt, bro. Like, fuck all that. Show the receipt and get up out of there, bro. Especially if you didn't do it. Somebody else probably really did steal some shit. They're blaming you, which is kind of fucked up. But doing all this arguing back and forth with a cop is literally unsafe. It's not safe for you to do that. It's just not safe. You need to just, you feel me? Maneuver. Here's the receipt, Gango. I'm good? Cool, thanks. Go in there and figure all that out. And slide. Do that. This is an infuriating piece of footage that becomes even worse when you know the full context behind it. When the cop arrived, he politely let the woman know what she was accused of, to which she responded by saying she had a receipt, but for some strange reason, she's refusing to show it to the cop, leading to a heated argument that could reasonably be stopped at any moment. Do you realize you can go to jail for that? Oh, I realize well, if I stole it, but I don't steal You're it. not cooperating. I'm not cooperating because you ain't got no probable cause because they said something. Go watch the camera first. Man. I walk back in there with you and go watch the camera. You no, know, I'm upset because I, I see don't this have every day. I don't have access to the camera. So how are they going to say I stole if they didn't see me steal? Ma'am, what is your name? What's your name? Come now. What's your name? No, that, that, Come I down. see this every day. Listen to me. Every day. Do you think, I want, any, do you, do you no think I want any trouble right but now? But do you know how many people don't walk in that store while you out here bothering me and they're stealing? Ma'am, they simply asked if you had a receipt. They didn't see you go through a register. But why don't they go through all the registers and ask the people if they see me? Ma'am. I want let's come on, let's walk back in there. Where's your receipt? Come on, let's walk back. Let's walk back in there. Bring your receipt. Let's walk back in there. Do you have your let's receipt? Walk back, let's walk back in there. Just show me your no, receipt. No, no, because that no, I'm not gonna do that. See, this would have been a very easy rectifiable situation. You don't have to act like this. You don't have to get crazy like this. This is not the moment for that. He's asking for the receipt. 
If you have it, produce it, bro. Like, fuck. Simple, bro. People do shit like this all the time and accuse people that didn't do anything. So I understand how you could be upset and how it's stressful. But, like, come on, bro. You're acting like a fucking goofy. Why didn't you go back in the store? Is that your receipt from today? Anything else, but I'm not showing because I ain't got no re- I ain't Y'all don't can't make me show nothing. While the officer physically has no way to force her to show any evidence, he does have the ability to search her if he suspects her of a crime. However, he decides not to at this moment, but instead of calming her down, she starts to get even more riled up and now begins to accuse him of racially profiling her. Why are we arguing about this? Because y'all profile black people every day like that. Everybody that shops in here is black. Mm -mm. Yeah, everybody that shops in here is black. No, everybody ain't. Uh, well, most. <laughs> they said everybody that shops in here is black. So why would we just choose you? <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely crazy. Some of them are. They is. I can, pro we can profile anybody. I see, I see y'all up here every day bothering people. I don't bother anybody. Whoever. Can you just show me your receipt? Here. No, I'm not going to do that. If they sent you out here, that, that means they saw me still. They didn't see you go okay, through a register then, so and pay. Okay, so why not do that protocol okay. is step out of the car. to go look on the camera. Step out of the car. Step what? out of the car. I'm not Come stepping with me. out no car. Then you're going to go to jail. Well, then you're going to have to take me to jail. Okay, step out of the car. I'm not stepping out no car. Okay. You got kid. You all these kids in here, you left in here by yourself. Do you want me to push this further while well, you went in the store? They, they're not little kids. Oh, they are little kids, and you left them all in the store. And what are you going to do when you go to jail and they're all here? So I called DCF to come get them all? My mom will stay right around the corner. Okay, so I don't have to call your mom to come get them. I can call DCF. They're my sister kids. They, they'll call her to come get her children. <laughs> Why don't you show me your receipt? Because like, what is even happening in this now? It just seems like it's just slowly getting worse. It's spiraling out of control. Like, almost at a rate that makes Godspeed seem slow. But it, it, it's just... Oh. Insane. In there. Remember, there's multiple kids in the car with her too, and she's still deciding to act in this manner. After acknowledging them, you'd think she might start to control herself a little bit, but instead, she decides to escalate things even further. Step out of the car. I'm not stepping out of the car. You have to step out of the car. No, you have to call your sergeant or your I, lieutenant. Come on. No. You're going. No. You're going to go to jail. No, I'm not. You're no, going to I'm go not. to jail. No, I'm yes, not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Then give me your receipt. I'm not giving you my receipt. Come on. No, I'm you're not. Going to jail. No, I'm not. You're going to jail. No, I'm not. You're going no, to jail. I'm not. No, I'm not. You are going to jail. No, I'm not. I'll tell you what I'll do. No, I'm not. You're going to jail. No, I'm not. I'm going to tase you right here, right tase now. Me. I'm going to tase you right now. Tase me. Get out of the car. Tase me. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You're under arrest. You're under it's, arrest. I'm under arrest for what? Get out of the car. I'm under Turn arrest around. for what? Turn around. Call your mom. Turn around. Right now. What am I under arrest for? Turn around right now for not cooperating. Cooperating? Turn around. I didn't steal. Tase me right now. Get down on the ground. Well, he actually tased her, but I, I guess he didn't want to physically put his hand on her. I don't know, but like this is actually ridiculous. I was not expecting this outcome from just the scenario, but holy fuck. Like, all right, <laughs> well, damn. Get down on the ground, right now. Get down on the ground. Put your hand behind your back right now. Right now, give me your other hand. Even if the woman wasn't suspected of any crimes at all, she was still refusing to follow the officer's orders and batting his hands back. It probably wasn't the best decision by the cop, but under the circumstances, it's at least understandable. But even after she's been handcuffed on the ground, the woman continues to scream and shout about everything. I didn't steal nothing. It is. It's fine. My dad worked on the police department. Oh, that's really nice. I got Go away, ma'am. Thing is, if you didn't steal anything, why didn't you show the receipt? Like, is it just because you don't like the police? So you decide to, like, you had kids in the car, too. Like, I'm, like, doing the process of elimination. Sometimes following protocol, if you're, if you did nothing wrong, is okay. It's not making you the bad guy here. And I don't think he should have tased you so early. Whether you were cooperating or not, because I mean, you know. Go away. Can you record? Oh, yeah. Recording, ma'am. Stand up. I ain't going to jail. Hey, guys. Just stay there, okay? I'll be with you in a second. You think I'm going to steal them too? Oh, because I'm black. Almost definitely. Can you call my family? Walk to the car. Stop doing that. 
me walk like to the that. car. Cooperate. I am cooperating. I am cooperating. Does, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Does this look like her? She's cooperating. Did the cop go too far, or did she just do the absolute most? I already let you know what my opinion was earlier on. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm okay. sure. Walk to the car. Can you call my family for me? Walk to the car. Y'all so stupid. I'm kidding. I'm in the place. I guess I'll That's what ready. you wanted. That's all you wanted. I guess so. So. I guess you gave me you what I we, wanted. Yeah. The woman was then taken to the police station and processed, but it was quickly discovered that she did actually have a receipt on her that proved she'd purchased everything she was accused of stealing. If she'd have just handed it over when she was initially asked, this entire thing would have been avoided. Instead, though, she decided to sue the grocery store for $50,000 in damages after the entire ordeal. But the case was dismissed with prejudice by a judge just months later, meaning she'll never be able to to use this incident against the store or the cops ever again. I don't lie to y'all. That's actually crazy. Like that's insane. But I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? She did all that extra stuff, and that's why she ended up getting arrested instead of just showing the receipt. Holy fuck, though. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button, subscribe. We're out of here. We're out of here.